Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a special report from Jerusalem's Gate. Uh, I'm glad that you joined us and uh, taking a look at our channel. Uh, uh, before I get started on the uh, the news, I'd like to give a personal thanks uh, to my new subscribers. Uh, God bless you and thank you. It's so much appreciated. And uh, we would try to uh, get the news to you as accurate and as fast as possible uh, with a biblical... Uh, understanding to the news and what's happening uh you know re uh, just uh hot off the press the last uh day uh the uss carl vinson and its strike group has turned away from the korean peninsula uh now why did uh, our president turn away the the strike group from uh the, the korean peninsula i personally think that china told uh, the president that if he does certain things that uh, he would uh, like uh, turn turn away the strike group and show goodwill that they'll uh, make sure that Korea doesn't do anything uh, in our president trusting uh, China has took a chance and uh, had uh, dispatched our uh, the Carl Vincent strike group away from the Korean Peninsula we don't know what's happening behind closed doors and on a telephone between uh, the, the leaders of the world. Uh, I personally think that uh, our government would take rather take a chance and go into war with Iran and Russia, if need be, over uh, the uh, over taking a chance to go into war with China over North Korea. Now, Kim is right about one recent statement. He said, uh, believe it or not, he is right about one statement. He said he was recently quoted as saying. The United States is there to go to war with anybody that has ICBMs with nuclear capabilities. And he is right about that. Uh, you know, I think the showdown is going to happen in Syria. Uh, I think uh, our country wants, along with uh, Israel, is to get rid of the Iran threat. Now, I see Iran's position in the world as exactly where... North Korea was when the news got out that they were uh, developing uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction. I personally believe that Iran is in fact uh, trying to produce uh, nuclear weapons and I think that our, the world learned a very valuable lesson by letting North Korea play the world uh, like an antique violin to get the, uh, their uh, uh, nuclear capabilities. And I think our country would rather take a chance on stopping Iran uh, in their secret uh, weapons program and possible tension with Russia then uh, take a chance on uh, China striking and uh, defending North Korea and uh, I think uh, that's a big risk because uh, North Korea in, in the next month or two will get uh, ICBM capabilities that can strike the mainland uh, you know let, let's you know what the Bible says about this uh, let's see uh, Let's go to Isaiah. Uh, this is the reason why I think it's going to all go down in uh, Syria. Isaiah, over 2,000 years ago, before Christ was born, uh, Isaiah got a revelation from the Lord. Quote, The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and shall be a ruinous heap. I personally believe that this uh, uh, verse it has to do with today's time. I think Iran and the United States and the groups that's on both sides are going to have a, an all-out uh, uh, war in, uh, for control of Syria. I believe if you control Damascus, you control you control Syria. Whoever uh, wins in the Battle of Damascus will win the war in Syria, simply put. Uh, but it states in uh, Isaiah 17:1, the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. And it shall be a ruinous heap. And that's out of the King James Version. I always quote out of the King James Version. Now what made, uh, what made, uh, if in fact this is for our government, I don't know if this, uh, script, the next scripture that is uh, perhaps being fulfilled. Daniel 11.44, it says, quote, But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. And that's uh, out of the King James Version. 
Is that the United States they're talking about? I do not know. Uh, it may be another uh, for a later uh, uh, thing, uh, but I uh, it, it could be today's time. Now, who are they speaking to? Are they speaking about the President of the United States? Or are they speaking to another leader of other countries? I don't know. Uh, but it's, it, it, it plainly uh, states, But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly make away many. Now when it says utterly make away many, that means destroy many, kill many people. Uh, but uh, it's simply stated in both uh, Isaiah and Daniel. And I think those two prophecies are, are going to come true. Uh, in our lifetime, for sure, for sure, in our lifetime. But uh, you know, this is an older article. Uh, it's out of the National Interest. Uh, you, the U.S. Army answer to Russia's growing military might: more missiles and munitions. Uh, let's read a little of the article. An eye-opening item in the uh, 2018 defense budget request is a serious money that the U.S. Army is pumping into its arsenal of high-tech missiles and munitions. The justification is simple. Army leaders fear they uh, have insufficient firepower to go head-to-head -head against Russia if war broke out in Eastern Europe. They want to ramp up production and soon. Uh, they are asking for three billion dollars worth of missiles and precision guided munitions in the 2018 budget and has submitted to Congress an additional 2.3 billion munitions uh, wish list as part of military unfunded uh, requirements. This uh, services sent to Capitol Hill every year. I support this. I believe it or not, I support this. I think that the United States has to have the best, uh, the most funded, and the most high tech uh, equipment the world has ever seen. We have to always stay on the cutting edge of uh, technology when it comes to the defense because let's just be honest people there's a lot of countries in the world that do not like our country for various reasons uh but uh i wanted to get this news out to you i hope you all enjoyed it i tell you uh, i really uh, appreciate each one uh one of y'all for checking out my channel and if god has laid it on your heart uh, to subscribe to Jerusalem's Gate. By all means, subscribe. It, uh, it would be much appreciate, appreciated. Uh, with that in mind, we'll go ahead and close. God bless uh, y'all, and God bless uh, and protect each and every one of y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.